A new plastic eating enzyme may be able to completely recycle waste. The implications for trash and landfill management would be revolutionary, and you won't believe how they develop it. Or maybe you will. <laughs> that in a report at Study Finds. Like and subscribe, please. Yes, it does make us very happy. You're looking at video from the University of Texas at Austin. Researchers there developed a special enzyme to destroy PET, that's polyethylene terephthalate, a common substance manufacturers use in food and drink packaging, textiles, and fibers. Researchers say that major industries would be able to recover and reuse products at a molecular level. PET makes up 12% of all global waste. Like all plastics, it's made up of long string-like molecules. The enzyme reduces them into smaller parts before chemical reassembly. In some cases, the plastics take just 24 to 48 hours to fully break down. In fact, this video shows the process over the course of 48 hours. In the oceans, these products can survive for centuries. Okay, here's the fun part. I know I said you wouldn't believe how they figured this out, but I guess some of you probably guessed it. I should say, here's the fun or <laughs> scary part. That is, if you think artificial intelligence will eventually become our overlords. Okay, here we go. Artificial intelligence, or AI machine learning, generated novel mutations to a natural enzyme called petase. That's P-E-T-A-S-E. -E. We'll put it up on the screen here for you. Petase allows bacteria to degrade PET. Remember, that's a plastic. I know, a lot to follow. The computer neural network identified what would be most effective at less than 122 degrees Fahrenheit to handle this job, making it both portable and affordable. University of Texas professor Hal Alper and his team of smart people analyzed dozens of discarded plastic items, including containers, water bottles, and polyester fibers and fabrics, all made using PET. Experiments proved the effectiveness of the enzyme named FAST petes, or Functional Active Stable and Tolerant Petes. See what they did there? FAST petes, F-A-S, okay, you got it. As far as recycling goes, after sending plastic trash to landfills, burning is the second most common method of disposal for plastic, but it's costly and spews noxious gas into the air, much like my uncle. Other alternative industrial processes are just as energy intensive. But biological solutions like this require much less effort. Study authors note that they are scaling up production of the enzyme to prepare for industrial and environmental applications. The Texas team has filed a patent and is eyeing several different uses, including cleaning up landfills and making high waste producing industries more eco-friendly. Okay, just so long as this stuff doesn't disintegrate the planet, <laughs> I'll be fine. I kid. Bottom line is this new enzyme seems to work well and work well at ambient temperatures, according to researchers, which makes it much more practical to use. And we have a lot more info on this and other studies. Just please click the link in the description below. Head over to studyfinds.com for more information.